Hey everyone, Techni here with something really different. Yes, as you can see, we have gamer glasses from Gamer Advantage. Now real quick, no, these are not just for people that wear glasses like myself, as you all know, right? These are for anybody. Yes, I do have the prescription style, but you can get them without a prescription as well. And if any user like me, gamer glasses have always kind of been in the background, like, do they really work? And I've also seen people wear them a lot, and I'm kind of like, it's kind of corny, you know what I mean? You see these big yellow lenses and you're like, wow, you gotta be kidding me, no way am I putting those on my face. And that's honestly how I'm gonna go with this review right here. I'm gonna go with it just as a shopper or like myself, if I was shopping for them or kind of concerned or questioning about them, right? I'm gonna go right through Gamer Advantage's website right here, all the stuff that they're promising about them, we're gonna go through them and see if they actually live up to what they're promising. But first off, I'd like to show you what you get in your box. Again, I have the prescription style right here, really nice box though, magnetizing is there kind of forms right in here some promises right on the box already which we'll get into those nice real heavy duty foam on the top right here all sorts of goodies in here now this is where it gets a little bit corny actually you got this little clip on sunglass thing yeah yeah we're not going to uh well it sticks on it really good though it really does i can't get it off there we go anyway so we get the sunglass thing you get this little stand right there where i actually use it always sits on my desk you guys have probably seen it in the background of some of my other videos because i always swap out for my other glasses to these um, some information, a sticker, cleaning cloth, little, uh, what is this? I thought it was a glasses. Oh, it is a glasses holder. It just folds out and opens up right there. A uh, little uh, cloth pouch and then some cleaning solution there. And again, it's all wrapped up in this really nice foam. So number one, pretty much the easiest way to put this right here, as far as gamer glasses, what are they supposed to do, right? Reduce the blue light coming from your TV, your monitor or whatever right there and just kind of reduce some of that eye strain. And going right into their website, again, I'm on the same thing you can look at right here, right onto their website, talking about some of the stuff the two or the three bold ones they have right here we'll cover first reported sleep improvement and honestly they say 98.2 percent sleep improvement right because you're not getting that strain from the screen or everything you can read more medical stuff about it as far as melatonin and everything looking at the screen how it just keeps you up and jacks with your melatonin this is why they all have these night modes or even on your monitors or tvs you can get it into that blue light reduction where it kind of turns everything kind of yellowish and just dims the light down a little bit pretty much the same type of thing you're looking at here 98.2 percent report improved of part sleeping i gotta say no I did not notice anything different, but again, I'm the type of person that I always have a screen in front of me, right? Whether if I'm in here reviewing products, I'm testing products, you know what I mean? When I'm laying down in bed, I have a screen in front of me looking for deals for stuff to review, you know what I mean? So I'm always in front of a screen. All right, so next up right here, which is probably one of my biggest kind of like wants within gamer glasses, is that your eyes more relaxed, right? They have 99.1% reported that their eyes are more relaxed. That's kind of just talking like eye strain, right? You got a really bright monitor, especially us PC gamers, right? We're bam, we are right in front of our monitors, you know what I mean? So you have those bright lights right in front of you, depending on the nits within your monitor. I have an HDR monitor, and sometimes I really can't even turn on that HDR because it's just so bright, and it just, I mean, it hurts my eyes. Like, it'll give me these really bad blinks and everything. I'll get like this little headache right above my eyes. You know, I don't know, is that just because I wear glasses? I'm not too sure, but again, it does affect me big time, and yes, 110%, you gotta put me right into that 99.1 right there. It relaxes my eyes big time. and just allows me to game for a lot longer session. Like my eyes aren't hurting after a game session, you know what I mean? So yes, 100%, they relax your eyes. All right, so next up in this one, 99.9% uh, .9 reported no color distortion. There is a little color distortion, right? I don't know if I'd say distortion because it doesn't really jack with your colors. Like your blues, greens, and yellows, they still look the same, right? They look very crisp, but they're not as bright again because that's the whole point of these. It's kind of reducing that brightness down a little bit. And you do get that yellow tint right there, which I can show you right here through the camera. And you can see, again, you get that mild tint. It doesn't really jack with your colors and distort them, but again, it kind of gives that tint over it. But me playing like a lot of Call of Duty and stuff like that, what I can tell you is pretty cool because it gives you that tint of a little bit more realism if you catch my drift. Again, nothing's really like bright and cartoony or video game looking, as crazy as it sounds, right? But you get that kind of overlay of a filter that looks more realistic. 
and it honestly looks pretty stinking awesome. Again, it's not drastic, because that's what I always thought, like, I'm looking at them, right, and I see these big old yellow lenses, like, I don't want it to turn everything yellow, kind of like sunglasses, where it turns a lot of stuff gray. I didn't want that, I still wanted to experience my game how it was, and it does not do that. But again, yes, it does kind of seem like there's a filter over it. All right, so next up right here, and this isn't really necessarily gamer glasses, but this is more or less gamer advantage glasses in the frame. It says ultra flexible morph flex frame. Let's see, I'm gonna bend the heck out of them right here. And look at that. Can you guys see? I really can't see them, so it's all up to you guys. But you can bend the heck out of these. And these things are incredibly light, like super duper light. I love it. All right, now that I can see you guys again right here, next up is all day comfort under headsets. Now, as you all know, I wear glasses all the time, so I'm completely used to it. So I don't really know if I can answer this question. What I can tell you is these are definitely much more cozy than my standard glasses, which are Oakley's. Now again, these kind of bow out and they got the uh, straight frame right there when these kind of curl back. Back. But again, these are super light. The frame's very thin. And again, it kind of comes right up to your head. So you really don't notice them when they're on your head with the headset. And again, they are more cozy than my basic everyday prescription glasses. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the price of Gamer Advantage gaming glasses. These guys right here come in at $129 gamer glasses as is. If you want to get prescription like I need, you add on another $80. So it's kind of almost like right at the exact same price as a pair of prescription glasses which you might be thinking, oh heck, well let me get them and I can just wear them all the time, which sure you can. Honestly, I've accidentally walked out of the house multiple times with these on, like at the store, pick my son up from school and I'm just sitting there, I'm like, like I adjust my glasses and I can feel them, right? I'm like, oh geez, man, I left on these gamer glasses. I get a little nervous. I'm like, are people gonna notice me or people gonna be making fun of me or something, you know what I mean? Cause again, it, it, when you get out in public and you're out in the sun and everything with all these lights, you don't really notice it. Like right now, if I was just sitting here talking, I don't think you guys would be able to notice that, hey, I have gamer glasses on compared to regular glasses, you know? And that's exactly what it is like out in public if you wear them. So yeah, you can do it, but when I'm out in public, again, I kind of like just my regular glasses where I can see all the natural colors right there. So that's pretty much right where I put it, right? No, I can't consider them like everyday versatile glasses. Are they great for gaming? And if you're in front of a screen, if you're at work all the time in front of a screen, 100%, I highly recommend them. And while I'm gaming, like I said, every time I plop down and start gaming, I pretty much always put these on right here just because it allows me to game for that much longer, which is great, right? But again, if I wear my basic glasses, I mean, my eyes, they just start hurting. I start getting these bad headaches right above there. I start blinking really hard. It's just not fun. So again, these definitely work out for gaming. So hey, let me know what you think about gamer glasses right there. Were you kind of like me at first? Like, that's a whole lot of baloney or man, they just look goofy. You know what I mean? I think now, like I stated before, I, I couldn't game without them. You know, I'd always need a pair right there because again, it's just that much more relieving for long game sessions, you know? So please let me know if you've ever used them or what you think about them down in the comments because this is gonna be a really great, great conversation piece here. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the Gamer Advantage Gamer Glass here. I hope I was able to answer some questions. If you have any more questions, please ask down in the comments, DM me on Twitter or whatever. Again, I'd love to help you out and just kind of talk about this right here. Again, just very fun to talk about. But hey, I was, hope I was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.